Before this video begins, I would like to give a huge thanks and shout out to Manfredi Chevrolet, located at 2519 Highland Boulevard in Staten Island, New York, for letting me come down and video their vehicles. Any questions about their inventory, feel free to visit their website at statenislandchevrolet.com or give them a call at 718-351-4200. What's up YouTube, J Malibu 0326 here. And today with me, I have this brand new 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV LT. So we'll start off by taking a look at the key. It does have Chevrolet's typical key with your locking, unlocking, remote start, and panic. Press the panic button once, and the horn will beep three times. Press the unlock button. Your turn signals will flash, and your xenon projector headlamps, as well as your LED light strips will come on. And when you lock it, the turn signals will flash and the lights will shut off. Now we'll take a look at the window sticker of this vehicle. The only option on this LT is the DC fast charging on the interior. Total price for this vehicle is $38,000, but it is fully electric and there's a lot of tech inside, I can tell you that. So we'll go ahead and walk up to the driver's door, press the button once, unlock the driver's door, once more to unlock the passenger door. Now the exterior color is nightfall gray metallic and it does have a dark galvanized sky cool gray interior. You have hard touch materials up here, soft touch armrest, really interesting pattern on the door and the dash. I like it. Taking a look at the driver's door, automatic up and down driver's side window, all the rest are regular, window lockout, power mirrors, and locking and unlocking with your chrome door handle. Storage bin on the bottom. Now this vehicle's materials are very economic, I guess you can say. Go ahead and shut the door. And when you shut the door, it does tell you your distance to empty. And your power button will pulsate blue to start it or power it. You put your foot on the brake and push the blue button. And since it's fully electric, you will hear nothing but the GM chime. This vehicle has six miles on it. Go ahead and check out the left of the steering wheel. You do have your automatic headlamps with your gauge dimming and you can turn off the automatic function by flicking it to the left and it will come up on the dashboard on or off. So taking a look at the wheel, it is a vinyl wrapped steering wheel but it does feel nice in the hands. Cruise control here you do have your favorites for your radio presets up there. Controls for this screen right here, as well as your voice commands and phone hang up and your audio controls are on the back of the wheel. Turn signals on the left. Tap for three blinks with your high beams, as well as your variable intermittent speed wipers and your rear wiper. Now coming to this screen, it looks very complicated but we will get through this together. Now go to the left, you do have menu, vehicle information, you can access your vehicle information, audio, phone, OnStar Nav, layout, as well as options. And as you can see, it does change different colors. And if you go into audio, it will display there. On the left, you do have your miles till your next charge. As you can see, the max this vehicle can get is 247, 
and the minimum is 172. You have your different warning lights on the left and the right. Now clicking to the right, you can go to your source, favorites, and browse. Digital speedometer in the middle with your direction you are facing. On the bottom, you do have your little ready indicator when the vehicle is ready to drive. And if you pop the vehicle into gear, it will display right there. Now coming to the center screen, this is not like Chevrolet's typical MyLink. Go home, as you can see, it's a huge screen with your radio here, vehicle information, phone, as well as USB connection. Down here, you can click on your energy and it will tell you your energy usage. Click to the right, efficiency history, energy details, and back to your usage since your last full charge. You can turn on the climate controls and everything on the screen. Going back home, going to audio. It is a six speaker audio system. Coming down lower, you do have your seek, volume, with your on and off, home. You have your different climate controls here. Front defrost, different zones. Max defrost, rear defrost. Your fan speeds right here as well as your different temperatures and it is automatic down here hazards sport traction control and these are other options on other trims now coming even lower you do have a little phone cubby right there power outlet right there a well of storage this vehicle has a lot of storage for the small car it is. Two cup holders. Now coming back further, you do have your shifter. Now to put the vehicle into drive, put your foot on the brake, press the little button here on the right, and go all the way down. To put it into neutral, you can just pop it up. And to put it into reverse, grab it again, go up, and to the left. And to put it in park, you just press park. Now putting it into reverse, it does display a very large backup camera. You can turn off the lines. The lines do turn with the wheel. And put it back in park. Coming to your glove box, it is damped decently sized. Coming all the way up to your sun visor, do you have a mirror with a little card holder. On star controls with your interior lighting controls and your passenger airbag notification. Another sun visor with a mirror, manual dimming mirror, two vents up top as well as one on each side. Hard touch dashboard but it's almost rubberized. It's not like that cheap graining. Give your parking brake here. With your leather padded armrest. And so, go ahead and turn on the automatic headlamps. Hazards. As you can see, the radio and temperature knob do turn blue, so it is blue interior lighting. We'll also go ahead and pop the hood. It is a manual driver's seat. It 
checking out the back seat. Now because this is such a small car, you would think the back seat isn't that roomy. But that seat is all the way back, and there's a decent amount of room back here. Great carpeting. Go ahead and step in. Now this is a very tall vehicle. It is very low over here, so I'd be careful getting in. But it's a very good commuter car, I can tell you that. Coming into the trunk. Decent sized trunk. You do have your home charger in there. Floor mats in here. Coming underneath. will reveal your tools for changing your tire. And if you notice, the little red markers do turn on when you open the trunk. You also do have a cargo cover. As you can see, the red lights did turn off. Coming underneath the hood of this bolt, Now as you can hear, there is no noise. It is fully electric. Now this bolt comes equipped with a 60 kilowatt hour, 350 volt lithium ion battery that puts out 200 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. It gets to bolt 128 city and 110 highway. The bolt takes 9.3 hours to charge with 220 volt power source. So coming to the front, you do have your xenon projector headlamps with your LED light strips and your turn signals there. Chevrolet logo, this nice piano trim. I personally think the Bolt is a really good looking car for the segment that it's in. Now coming to the tires, they are Michelin tires riding on P215 50R17's 17 inch alloy wheels. Another nice thing is that there's not many blind spots in this vehicle. You would think that there are a lot with this rear end, but surprisingly there's not. Coming to the back you do have LED tail lamps up top Chevrolet logo in the middle, Bolt EV badge, as well as your reflectors, turn signals, and reverse lights. Chrome strip on the bottom. And you do have your third brake light up there. Smart key access on all doors. Take another walk around. Now you can open it from here, and that is your charging port. So we'll go ahead and turn off the hazards and the headlamps and shut the bolt off. You do have your rear child seat reminder and press OK to that. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed my full tour and startup of this 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV LT. Now some of you may be wondering, is it worth getting the Bolt? Because there's the Prius out there and a whole lot of other competitors. Now the Bolt is very different and you do get a lot of features for the money. So once again I hope you enjoyed my full tour and startup of the Bolt. Remember to follow us on all social media and turn on our post notifications on YouTube.